Hey guys, due to popular demands, I've opened up a bonus screening at 10.30 p.m. at the theater in L.A. So go get your tickets. Link is in the description now. Tickets are free. To the celebration. <laughs> it's unfair. We would be honored if you would join us. In today's episode, we're going to cover more than just what the title led you here for. Yes, Vader blames Sidious, finally, for Padme's death, insinuating he lied to him about saving her. However, we learn much more. In the Legends book, Dark Lord, The Rise of Darth Vader, which is where all this info is from, we get an interesting snippet of dialogue between Master and Apprentice. Let's begin. Glancing at him, Vader gestured to his face and black cloaked body, then gestured in similar fashion to Sidious. Look at us. Are these the faces of victory? Sidious was careful to keep himself from becoming too angry or too sickened by his pupil's self-pity. We are not this crude stuff, Lord Vader. Have you not heard that before? Yes, I've heard it before. Too often. But from me, you will learn the truth of it. Vader lifted his face. In the same way you told me the truth about being able to save Padme. Sidious was not taken aback. For the past month he had been expecting to hear just such an accusation from Vader. I had nothing to do with Padme Amidala's death. She died as a result of your anger at her betrayal, my young apprentice. Vader looked at the floor. You're right, Master. I brought about the very thing I feared for her. I'm to blame. Sidious adopted a more compassionate tone. Sometimes the Force has other plans for us, my son. Fortunately, I arrived at Mustafa in time to save you. So let's dissect this point by point. The first part is where Vader acknowledges what the victory has done to them both, physically. This is a trait of Anakin's. He was no doubt vain and missed his looks for sure, along with his limbs, no doubt. He felt if they were so victorious and powerful, then they would have not been deformed from the battles. It would have been a swift and gallant victory. This is also a moment where we see Vader wallow in self-pity on his physical stature comparing himself to when he was Anakin. Palpatine says that line Yoda used on Luke in The Empire Strikes Back, which to me was really interesting to read because it's coming from someone that is a polar opposite, yet they both idolize the same belief, that the Force is beyond the physical. As Sidious tells him, but this time, instead of hearing it from Yoda, you'll learn the real truth of it from me. Now here's where Vader could have shut his mouth, but he didn't. He felt anger and betrayal, and he went for it. I respect him for that. The same way you told me the truth about being able to say Padme, which is him lashing out and telling him you're a liar, everything you say is just to manipulate people, and you suck, basically. You know nothing. I was expecting Sidious to discipline him by lashing out in some force lightning, however, he didn't, and here's why. He hit Vader with something that hurts much more than anything physical. He put the blame of his wife's death on Vader's rage. This cripples Vader even more. You see, Sidious knew when to use his power and when to use his words, his cunning and Vader became confident to challenge his master in this moment, where Sidious put him back in his mental cage by telling him that he did this. He ruined his own life. He killed his wife. Which is exactly what Vader says next. You're right, master. I brought about everything. I'm to blame. Then Sidious twists it even more, telling him that this was the Force's will, and this was fate working its magic. Padme had to die for him to fulfill his destiny as Sidious' apprentice, which we all know is just his slave. And here's the cherry on the cake. He says, lucky for you, I arrived just in time to save you. So, now, Vader destroyed his life, killed his wife, lost to Obi-Wan, and when he was about to die, Palpatine came to save him. The lines are very cunning behind the dialogue in some of these scenes and books, and if we break them down, we can really see how genius Palpatine was. I hope I was able to do that for you. I feel Vader definitely always hated Palpatine, but it just took Luke dying in front of him for him to finally do something about it. What do you guys think? Was Vader to blame for killing his wife? Or was there more to it? Thanks for watching, everyone. Hit like if you enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next episode of Star Wars Theory. Until then, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, remember, the Force will be with you always. Now, fulfill your destiny.